Well, guys, first of all, let me just say there are nearly 70 people that have been displaced because of this fire. We're talking adults and children, but the good news tonight, no one was injured. Firefighters have been here on the scene since they got that first call around 445, and they'll be here throughout the remainder of the night. We want to show you some video showing the extensive damage to this apartment complex. In all, nine apartments have fire damage. Several others have smoke damage, and because there's no electricity to the complex right now, everyone in the building is having to find another place to sleep tonight. Fire crews arrived and they saw heavy fire in the back of the building when they got here. Investigators say they think the fire started on the first floor and spread to the second floor. Obviously, a frightening time for families who live here. We saw the fire their response. You'll hear from him, but first, a mother displaced by the fire told me she was asleep and woke up to hear screaming and sirens. And it stopped right next to us, the apartment right next to us. Thank God, like ours didn't, everything in it didn't burn. No injuries, no fatalities, and that was a direct result to a very, very aggressive fire attack by Yuba City firefighters to basically kind of pinch the fire on the second floor and prevent it from spreading laterally. The fire chief says there is a firewall in the attic and that actually helped stop the fire from spreading. It's not clear yet, though, if there were any smoke detectors. The chief telling me tonight because of the extensive damage, it's really hard to tell. We can tell you tonight, guys, there is a shelter that has been open for, again, those nearly 70 people that have been displaced. They are uh, that shelter being set up by the Red Cross, not far from here, as you mentioned, at the fairgrounds. Meanwhile, there's an investigation underway because right now the chief says it's not clear how this fire started. For now, live in Yuba City, I'm Brandy Cummings, KCRA 3 News.